Hello, welcome to the weather update. It's almost 10 o'clock. It's going to be a brief one tonight. I had a lot. Of exa You'll see in the video, just a lot of problems with the buses all over Long Island today. Um, trying to get places. 66 right now at Islip, 2.54. Let's take a look at what the day was like at Islip. It's kind of warm, definitely warmer than yesterday, that's sure. We got close to 80 degrees today, but the humidity was low. And you can see south winds pretty much all day there. Uh, southwest to south winds. So it's, eh, it still felt kind of warm out there. So let's go look at what the high temperatures were today across the area. And you'll see, yep, close to 80 pretty much everywhere. 79 at Islip for a high. Little 81, there's more like 81 in Mineola, I can guarantee that. And of course, if you were in Jersey, Tom's River, it looks like uh, close to 84 there. So definitely a lot warmer. Let's go look at the low temperatures this morning. And you can see West Hampton cooled off to 43, 53 at Islip. Uh, the city was still in the mid-60s. And also some cool cool uh, radiational cooling in the New Jersey Pine Barrens as well. I see 43 at Miller Air Park as well. Uh, so looking at the skies, yes, we have some more cirrus coming in. Uh, and we did have some clear skies, uh, but there was some cirrus off to the north. We'll take a look and we'll just go over this modus real quick. Uh, so uh, you can see it started off with clear skies, but then... We had some cumulus pop up, and then there was a little bit of cirrus around as well. But it was all in all a very nice day. It's too bad I spent most of it waiting for buses. Uh, so let's go look at the uh, models here, and we'll just take you through uh, the rest. Of the, actually, I'm just going to take you through, I think, uh, tomorrow into uh, Wednesday. Uh, so you can see one more dry day tomorrow, and then we have a chance of rain overnight. And then into Wednesday, uh, we start trying to dry out a little bit before the next system comes in and bring us heavier rain on Thursday. And then a bigger high-pressure system builds in for Friday. So, all right, we'll take you through the whole week, I guess. So let's go to the uh, HRRR model right now, 0Z run. Uh, and you'll see we'll be dry uh, right through until possibly could be a little light rain, maybe moving in like 6, 7 at the start to show something. But I think the, the, the rain tomorrow night is going to be very light on the light side, and it's going to generally be after 9 o'clock. Uh, you can see it looks like it does get there could be a he couple of heavier showers toward the morning and then it moves out of here on Wednesday. Uh, so let's look at the dew points. Uh, they will be coming up a little bit. You'll start seeing feeling a little more humidity tomorrow, uh, but still fairly comfortable. Dew points in the 50s, maybe some 60 degree dew points, but I think it's mainly going to be in the 50s. But then you see the humidity spike up uh, with that warm air coming in, and that's what's going to with that front coming through there on Wednesday, and then. Uh, we have to wait into the afternoon for uh, the dry rail builds. And so Wednesday is going to be a little uncomfortable, I have a feeling. Uh, so let's go to the temperatures now. And uh, you'll see tonight we're not going to cool down as much, probably upper 50s. And then tomorrow uh, a little cooler with the stronger south wind, probably mid-70s uh, on Long Island, but still close to 80 uh, in uh, New Jersey. And then uh, as you get into Wednesday, you'll see it could be, it's going to be a lot warmer. Wednesday could be a little uncomfortable. But we'll talk about that more tomorrow night. Uh, let's go to the RGEM and we'll just look at the sad light. Man, I want to get this weather update done because I'm tired. Uh, you'll see more cirrus around tomorrow for sure, but there'll still be some sun. Uh, but it won't be as nice as it was today. And then we'll have more clouds, obviously. And then Wednesday, we'll start seeing the sun try to break out, but it could be a little hot later on in the day. So that's going to wrap up this weather update. I know like a three-minute weather update, but... You'll see the nonsense I had to deal with with the buses. So uh, thank you for watching.